This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back. Now we learn about deworming your cattle herd with Kyle Bauer and Doug Ensley. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer visiting with Dr. Doug Ensley with Beringer Ingelheim. We've been visiting about uh, parasite control on cattle, and I'm just going to lead through some questions that I've always had about it. What is the perfect time to uh, apply a dewormer, and how does that work into the life cycle of my forages in Kansas? and with the life cycles on the worms? So the probably, if I was looking at truly an ideal time for parasite control, especially in a cow herd, I would look at trying to get them dewormed prior to calving and then, or prior to breeding because those are the high risk times for the cow. Um, and so you think about that in, in Kansas, we're gonna be done calving, actually we'll be done calving before we go on grass because we calve and, and dry a lot. But, so when we turn them out to grass, that's our right before breeding. And that is a crucial time for it. So I think about the ideal time is when I turn them on to grass. Um, ideally, if I was really one of these progressive farmers that had the time, I would bring them back two or three weeks and then deworm them because they picked up the parasites prior. You know, when they get out of grass, they picked up the parasites. Now I clean them up and then I get that little stench. Done. In most situations, we can't do that. So then there's products like Long Range that has a, up to 150 day duration of, immune, or of parasite control. So I can deworm at that time where I turn them out the grass and I'm going to get them carried through that breeding time. And that, because it's the only one that has that extended length of persistence. And, and so now I have control and I'm gonna get those. And I especially will focus on my first calf heifers that are at the highest risk, my heifers, the thin cows is where I really focus my dewarming practices so that I'm keeping them clean and get them bred the most. Because we all know first calf heifers are always the hardest to get bred back. So that's the ideal time for long range because I've got that extended length of time. Now can I give, okay, and long range is your premier product. You offer several other dewormers, but um, long range has really answered a problem for a lot of people like in our area that don't get the cattle back in after they turn them out. And that, like I said, that's true, is, is now I have a product that I'm not, maybe not going to deworm, ha, don't have the opportunity to deworm at the right time. So I'm going to use long range because I'm going to get through that time, get them cleaned up, make sure that they're ready to go through the summer. You know, and, and it is a premier product, but you have to think about up to 150 days. That's three or four other dewormings over that time that I'm having that benefit. So I'm going to grass the 1st of May. I deworm the cows. Um, should I deworm the calves at the same time? You can, or, I mean, it really depends on your operation. It is if you're not, if they're not, if that's their first time and they're, they're not too old, then I maybe not because long range has a 90 day, they have to be at least 90 days of age to use it. So, but if I have the opportunity, there's other D products. We have Ivamec Porum, we have Epernex, um, those are products that we could use on those calves if we really need to clean them up and we're concerned and we have good grass and moisture. So that's where I would do it. If I can, I would wait till maybe that a little bit later on to deworm those calves because I'm going to get them through weaning and stuff without parasites. On the other hand, it's relatively inexpensive because it's by body weight and you're running them through the chute anyway. So it's really not very hard to take care of any worm load they'll pick up in that spring. And that's a nice benefit is, again, long range has that extended length of time. The biggest key is to make sure you put it under the skin and dose it correctly because you're talking about a product that's up to 150 days. Visiting with Dr. Doug Inslee. He's with Beringer Ingelheim. We've been talking about parasite control in cattle. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Kyle. Come back after the break for this week's Kansas Farm Bureau update. Hello, I'm Dr. Frank Lyons from Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center here in Manhattan, Kansas. Daryl was one of our patients that we did about seven months ago. I dug trees by hand for years and years and years. In the process, I wore out my rotary cuff. But when I learned about this process, I thought if there was a way to get rid of this pain, then I, then I wanted to do it. So we did it and it worked. I'm not going to go out and take trees with a shovel anymore, but I can do the things that I want to do now. What's been 
very gratifying to help people with their painful joints and other uh, entities and it's been especially gratifying to be able to help people who I know and have worked with and known for many years.